All right, there it is. Everything is identical. Numbers, everything. Everything, everything. This will be the, uh, this is my disclaimer before everybody starts leaving comments about how I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Everything matches up. This will be the first engine that I remove and replace. And I can do it. I'm going to take this power glide off. And, uh, because we don't need that. So, everything looks good. Yeah, it might have had a little bit of oil leak out of the valve cover gasket. I got a new one. So, let's go see what we're going to do. All right, here's the oldie but a goodie. So we're gonna start with, this thing only has, it's gonna be pretty obvious what we have to undo. There's not a lot on these, so. That engine mount, actually you call them motor mounts, don't you? But it's called an engine. That's the running debate. Ow, that's a bump. All right. I guess I'm going under to go play.
All right, there was a little delay in there, but that's because we were underneath it. Here's the situation. This is a homemade adapter plate. I'm inside right now. There's four bolts. You can't get to the top plates. So the bearded one said, I wonder if that plate inside the cab comes off. And sure enough, we just lift her right off. And you can look over here and say they had already cut this. Somebody did. And bent this back. So we bent it all back. And that's the way they got to the top two bolts. And then I get back under and get to the bottom two. And that's the way they removed the engine and left the bell on it. You can ring my bell. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. If you don't have a 1970s Sears one inch forged BFF Japan, you can't do this job. Okay, everything is undone. We've got our chain. The transmission is undone. We are going to take this engine out of this truck but before I can slap the other one in there I've got to get an uber driver that knows how to weld and he can bring his welder over and fix that or I could put some JB weld on it and I'm just kidding about that people's you hear that? That's a tractor coming. You ready, Charles? So what's next? The tractor's coming. Ha! That's my bride. She's going to get us wings? Yes. I don't want to fries. I don't want to fries today. <laughs> I just want the wings, you say. Oh. Say it's about to get... I don't want to fries. I don't want to eat fries. I don't want to fries today. What, babe? medium wings. It's time to get serious. All right, lesson learned. Take the fan off. You could tell we were struggling getting this engine out. 
One reason is because I left the, uh, the clutch linkage engaged and forgot about it. But we're getting there now. We've got it cleared free. We should be able to do a lift. We're going to take this front off, but it's never been off, and I don't want to make I want to make sure we don't mess up anything. But now we're going to go back and attempt to take it out again. It is out. It is out. Now I gotta fix that motor mount. That was a job. Alright, we can go in the building now. What? Can I roll on? Yeah. You're clear. You're free. That's what I forgot to unhook right there. All right, now, this is gonna be the side by side. I figured out why they parked it. The engine mount broke, the engine dropped, it bent up the fan, and they said, I'm done. That's my story. So he's bringing it around. The next trick is, uh, Putting that one in and putting all the pieces back on it. So we'll set them side by side here so I can see if we did any damage. Sit it down. plate up in there well I have to say this was a success so far does that motor mount just lift right up or is it about to oh yeah that thing's about out of it I guess that's why 
The machine was parked. We didn't do a lot of damage though, did we? <laughs> that pump over there is a hydraulic pump. Where is it? Yeah, that thing. And, uh, there's not many wires. There was only like four wires, is all. There's the belt. We gotta get a new belt. So we, we pulled the radiator, of course, and took the fan off. I was struggling with the fan. Gotta admit your, your struggles for the next person. Then I realized I could stick a, uh, <laughs> stick my tool through there. <laughs> Come right off. <laughs> so that's it for uh, this journey. Thanks for watching this spectacular video.